Hello guys, like I said, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make vanilla ice cream. As you can see, this is about 10 teaspoons of sugar, white sugar, 5 you know, eggs, it depends on a look. This is um, sweetened beverage cream, it's very thick. Um, of course, you already know what it looks like. This is a whole milk, and here is vanilla essence. So this is what also gives it that taste, that vanilla taste, vanilla essence. Okay, and here is corn flour. So I'm going to be teaching you the procedure in just a short while. Okay, welcome once more. And on this plate, I'm going to put these whole eggs into it. And we're going to whisk it together with this whisker. <laughs> yeah, we have the machine. If you can afford the machine, this is how the machine is. If you can afford it, okay, you can decide to use the machine to whisk it. But I'm going to use the contemporary one, which I bought also. So we're going to put this 10 teaspoon of white sugar into it, pour all of it in it. Then I'll add a little salt with pinch and you whisk it together. All smooth. And now we are going to start adding the whole meal into the pot. Your pig milk, your sweetened. This milk is very sweet. Don't go and pour everything inside, though. <laughs> Otherwise, you will end up licking sugar. Okay. Now we're gonna add a little bit of this corn flour. A little, just a little. Sugar still. Another five to ten teaspoon. So I'm measuring this for my head. A pinch of salt. Now when you're stirring this on fire, make sure you use a wooden spoon. Now as you can see, it has started boiling. I reduce the light so you can see the bubbles and dip in. As you can see, it has coated the bag. That means if I do this, you see, you see the coating is that strong now. So. We can now bring it out, then mix with the egg. Now, check this out very well. If you pour this egg inside here, it will boil the egg immediately. And that means you have spoiled the smooth look of the vanilla ice cream. What we do here is very simple. We take a portion of this and mix with the egg Yo, gradually before we pour them inside. If you pour it immediately, you have cooked the egg already. So like this, the egg still stays the same way it is when you first put it in, just the change of color. Now you can pour it into the cooked milk mix. So we're gonna put it back in the oven for like five to seven minutes. So we are cooking it at a very low heat. And then, now add your vanilla essence just a little like a teaspoon if you put so much you're on a long thing and the reason why we didn't put it from the onset if you put it from the onset it will cook out and you lose the vanilla sweetness it's getting thick and thick and thick we need to turn it constantly it's about five minutes now so bring it down Just pour it inside this other stainless. It has cooled a bit. Then you're gonna cover with this transparent wrapper. Cover it. And then you make sure this wrapper is touching the ice cream. Reason being that if you leave it up under space, when it start getting iced, it start bringing up bubbles, and you don't like that. And that bubble forms the lumps, which is not needed in the ice cream. We're gonna put it inside the fridge 
for like four to five hours until it cooks. Yeah, hello guys, this is DM Cook. I've just put the ice cream into the fridge, rather into the freezer, so it can cool properly between one to four hours. The ice cream maker has been inside the fridge for about four hours too, so this stainless inside is cold. Those are the things you need to know. Whatever you're going to use to mix it should also be very cold. Okay, that one helps to form the, the fluffy look. So we pour. So we're going to cover this. And this is going to be turning for about 20 to 25. Then we'll come and check it. Cooks, hey, I see the arts, creativity by the spirits. 